Blake Bernard here, pregame before wearing him with Michael Cantu, the catcher from Texas. Cantu, you are wearing the burnt orange out of Texas. You guys have the new coach over there, David Pierce. Your thoughts on him so far and uh, what kind of interaction you've had with him? Um, I actually uh, had a call from him last week and uh, really great guy. I'm, I'm really excited to get to Texas and, and get back to work. But um, we had about a minute, two minute conversation, real short and sweet. And uh, he's excited, I'm excited, and, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to meeting him and, and the new coaching staff and getting back to work in Austin. All right, so you got to get the start behind the plate today. What kind of preparation does a catcher do on a day-to-day -day basis to get ready for you know, catching these new pitchers for you? I think the best thing is just focusing uh, when they throw bullpens. And so when you go out there and uh, you catch them in their bullpen right before the game, you, you, you talk to them, you, you get a good feel for them, and uh, you see what, uh, what works for them. And I think being on the same page with your pitcher helps you a lot. So. And for you, any particular favorite you've had so far catching? There's a lot of them out there, but who do you like to be catching behind? I mean, it's tough. Uh, there's a lot of great ones. I mean, I've caught Jeff and Brady, and uh, uh, Sans today here is going to be fun. So, uh, I mean, there's been a lot of them. So I'm, I'm excited just to keep going and, and get back on the, on the right side of the column. Now, Chris Heron, the motivational speaker, former Boston Celtic, was talking to you guys before the game and kind of a little motivational talk. What did he kind of say to you guys and what did you take away from that? Uh, it was great. I mean, he, he um, he's obviously been through a lot and he's a great example to look, look up to. I've uh, I've watched YouTube videos on him uh, uh, lately and um, just a really good message of, of how to be yourself, go out there and be who you are um, and go out there, play, have fun. And, and, and just, he's a, such a great guy to look up to and, and um, I really hope that you can. I can mold myself after him or someone of that stature. Now, uh, switching over a little bit lighter. Now, some quick questions here for you. Rapid fire. Now, if you were in the major leagues right now, who's the one pitcher that you would maybe want to catch behind for an entire game? Entire game. Ooh, probably Clayton Kershaw. All right. Being a Texas boy, yeah, Clayton Kershaw. And do you think you can handle that that curveball, sis? Yes, I think I could. I mean, it's 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 gross, but I think if, if I know it's coming, it'll be easier. <laughs> Now, if Kershaw's on the mound and you're at the plate, do you think you stand a chance? I don't know about that, but we'll see. I got confidence <laughs> in myself, but I mean, he's he's one of the best of the best, so I mean, that'd be a tough one. <laughs> now, you know, Kanye's playing right now. You're from Texas. Now, what's your go-to pregame pump-up music? I would have to say some country. George Strait is uh, King George is always there. Um, where I'm from, down south, uh, there's a lot of Spanish music down there, so uh, we, we have a little bit of culture down there. But um, I, I'd say Spanish and then some George Strait. Nice. Now, if you as a catcher, anyone in particular you that you model your game after, you're looking up to in the big leagues right now? Definitely. So Salvador Perez, you know, just a big guy like me. Um, I look up to him just uh, the way he goes about the game, the way he manages pitchers. Uh, I think he's a good guy to, to, to take after. All right. Thanks for your time, Michael. No problem.